Hey there, everybody. So this is going to be kind of a new thing. Every Wednesday, I'm going to do a midweek market update, kind of let everybody know what's going on the first few days of the market. Uh, that way, it gives you an idea of what might be coming for the rest of the week, the trends that are actually happening. And hopefully, this is a new little series that you guys enjoy. And maybe if it's uh, received well, could possibly be something that I do uh, every night. So a few topics I'm going to cover that we've been going over at least just the last few days is number one, still the marijuana plays. Most notably, uh, Tilray. Now, one of the things that's with this one, it's been heavily shorted by some very large players on very specific days. So this is one of those trades that just let it come to you. Um, you know, it's that's pretty much all-time highs with the rest of the market. You know, like CGC, I don't think that they had a very good per se day versus that. So notice the charts and how those charts are setting up, like Cron, CGC. Uh, Tilray is pretty much the leader at the moment because it's the most shorted. So treat it like the head of the snake. Once it makes its move, likely everything else that is up is going to follow. So just keep that in mind. Tilray specifically, um, it's one of those things that everybody got so negative on and they wanted to short it super early. Uh, you know, even I wanted to short it in the 50s and 60s. And this is the type of thing that happens when everybody decides to do the exact same trade. Um, I could expect, uh, I'm still thinking a full blowout on this because it's just been a trend up, 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 up. And things need to generally blow out people as far as, you know, when that trend has, you know, surpassed. So even like with Elfin back in the uh, crypto craze days, a lot of people got short, very negative, very bearish because the information was obvious that it was going to eventually just turn out to be a full scam, which was pretty much figured out right in there. But if everybody does the same thing on something that has a relatively small float, uh, people could still go broke. So, I mean, this closed in the 20s, and then it did that parabolic day to 130. So just be aware um, of those type of things that are going on in the market, especially like Tilray and all those other things. Uh, next one is specifically AMD. Um, there was something back in March, February that uh, I was reading. I'm not sure if it was a filing or card news. But it, it got me really super bullish on the rest of the year for AMD. Obviously, it washed people out in the nines during April, May. But the, the trend still remained, and I, I tried to go back to look to find the information on what exactly it was that triggered the thought in my mind that this relatively untraded, you know, never makes any moves name would make a you know a three hundred percent move in one year. Um, something specifically caught my eye. Probably should have written it down, but. Either way, this is one of those names that uh, you know a chip maker and chips are are highly sought after, especially in the market. All you need to do is look at Nvidia and their graphics cards for you know Bitcoin mining. We're essentially the leaders all of 2006, 2017. So there's probably something that I read where AMD is making. I think it was like a specific card chip. Don't quote me. That would be for mining. Um, and I remember reading a few tweets, like there, I think it was like their RX 84 was going to have the hash rate somewhere near double of what the, the NVIDIA ones were. Um, but that's not exact information, so don't quote me on that. Um, I just, just one of those recall moments where, you know, I go, AMD is going to be something that's going to explode. It's just literally the first thought that uh, jumped into my head. The trade on this is kind of the same thing as the marijuana ones you have a name that just continues to keep going. Um, so you're essentially, if you're taking large short positions on you know, something that is going up in your face, you're going to get punished for it. Um, and I think that this one's caught everybody off guard because it's AMD. It's a name that doesn't move like this. Um, so there's probably a lot of people stuck short. This could easily do 35, 36 and, and do it intraday for like a two, three dollar move. So, you know, the thing to be aware with on something like this is you have to wait until there's that max pain trade. So just put yourself, if you if you have no position, put yourself in the position of if I was short and I was being stubborn, where's the point where I would just give up and be done with the trade? And you'll likely see that uh, on an intraday move similar to here, um, but it could be even higher on AMD. Some of the next things that are going on that I see are a lot of cheapy names. Um, I can't remember exactly what the PR was, but Netlist, which never moves. Um, I thought that they would do something in January for the whole crypto craze just because it was one of those names that um, was likely to do something. They put out something, I think it was like a uh, patent award for um, 
I, I think it's a, a memory product. So uh, that's good to kind of know the, the news that drives these moves. What was it? What started the hype on this? And it was memory products for a claim construction. So just be aware of the things that actually start moves. Um, you know, I, when I, as soon as I read it on that one day, and I very rarely just read news and say this is a buy, but um, on that specific day, I went to buy it at like 16, 5, 16, 8. I chased it up to 18, then it was at 20. Forgot about the next day and never really made a trade on it. Um, and it obviously went from 16 cents to $1.10, which is a huge move. So it kind of gets people into the zone of, okay, cheapies are starting to move. So all I do is I look around for other names that are cheap that have the very similar same style charts as as that. So like RSLs, and they have to be like NASDAQ listed as well. Um, and then you got like IMPX today, which pretty much traded over the float. Um, and that's something that I pay attention to. So if I see something that's, you know, I know on the back of my head NLS made a move, and I see, you know, volume right out of the gate that's way abnormal for a name that kind of matches it in the similarity of its total piece of junk, that catches my eye. It makes me very interested in, in wanting to take that trade. Um, so just kind of be aware of that as a lot of these cheapy names are total garbage, total junk for the most part, and they're moving based off of, you know, very little meat as far as uh, information, news, that type of thing. So just, just kind of one of those things to be aware of because obviously it went to a buck and then all the way back down to 30. So uh, last but not least as far as trends and things that I'm looking at for the remainder of the week is still crypto, Bitcoin. Um, still no major trades. Ethereum is getting close to a bounce. I think I mentioned this in my last video. Um, Ethereum is just at that price level where, you know, the last major three-day rally really only gave you about 50 bucks whereas you know back in April it was a full-on double um, so you're kind of at these points that you just want to bring back to last year is this 160 150 was really the only spot for it to be caught so the next logical area is you know $100 washout which I would rather be paying attention to it here uh, for like a maybe a 150 move but even today it, it, it still interests me volume is starting to get pretty decent uh, so just be aware of that. Ethereum, I think its dominance is at over 57%. Is either 57 or 55 um, for the overall market capitalization of all cryptos. And it's held this 6,000 line all year long. I still think we need to wash everybody out below 5,000. Um, really put in panic for people that have, you know, even been smart with their entries. Uh, so that is kind of the state of crypto at the moment for those major ones. Some interesting news that uh, has come out on these as well. Um, so just kind of be aware of that. So that is going to be it for the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed that and I will see you guys next week.